What's going on everybody? Benji Kaiser here today looking at the Gigabyte Aero 15. I'm going to walk through why I think this is the best gaming laptop for video editors and designers coming at you right now. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're gonna find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. So if that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. Also, if you're curious about the exact specs or pricing of the Gigabyte Aero 15 as we're making our way through this video, you can head down into the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. The one word that kept coming back to me while reviewing the Gigabyte Aero 15 is refined. The hinge, the keyboard, the fan vents, the color accuracy, and performance to name a few things that really stick out to me about this laptop. Starting out with the build of this laptop, the Gigabyte Aero sports a thin and light aluminum chassis that is 4.6 pounds and has a stance of 14 by 9.8 by 0.7. Starting out with the build of this laptop, the Gigabyte Aero 15 sports a thin and light aluminum chassis that is 14.6 pounds and has a stance of 14 inches by 9.8 inches by 0.7 inches. As you pull open the lid of this laptop, you'll experience one of the smoothest hinges you have ever come into contact with. Yes, even better than the MacBook Pro by a long shot. The reason I think so is the snug feeling as you begin to open the hinge and then it loosens at about 45 degrees to make it effortless to pull open with one hand. Next, let's take a look at the vents and ports on this laptop. With 11 heat vents, this laptop has plenty of airflow. I will say that the fans are a little ambitious to keep this laptop cool, which can get up to about 55 decibels while exporting out of Premiere Pro. But with a few clicks, you can access the Gigabyte Control Center to switch over to quiet mode if loud fans tend to annoy you. Personally, I don't mind loud fans. Fans don't really frustrate me. I'd rather have a cool laptop that runs well. The ports on this laptop are well suited for creative professionals. It comes with a Thunderbolt 3 full USB 3.0 Type-C, one USB Type-C supporting DisplayPort. I will note that both Type-C ports can act as display ports, which makes me very happy. Two USB 3.1 Gen 1, one featuring power off USB charging, one USB 2.0, one HDMI, one DisplayPort, one Ethernet port, and one headphone jack. So what I'm really stoked about with on this laptop is the fact that you can run displays on three different ports. Also, it comes with an SD card slot, which makes me very happy as a video editor because I like to be able to just pop my footage in and not carry dongles around. Turning our focus towards the display, it has a 4K Pantone certified display reaching a brightness of 400 nits and it is color accurate at Delta E less than one, reaching 100% of the color gamut range of Adobe RGB, sRGB, and DCI P3. The Pantone X-Rite certification means that every panel on an Aero 15 has been color calibrated individually before leaving the factory. So color gamut range and color accuracy are at peak levels within these laptops. The keyboard on the Aero 15 is really neat. You can use the Gigabyte Control Center to customize the keyboard RGB backlighting, which is really bright and evenly distributed across all of the keys. However, I will say that I wish the backlighting displayed through the shift functions on each key. So like the money sign or the percentage sign or the at symbol, they don't shine through there. So that's just one thing I wish that would happen uh, for these keys, maybe in a future model. The key press is soft and quiet with a total travel distance of four millimeters and an activation distance, that means how far you actually have to click it for it to register, of two millimeters. This might feel a little long for some people, especially any butterfly keyboard Mac users, but for me, it's perfect. I like that long key travel. I will say, however, the only thing I don't like is the placement of the shift key. I would rather have a smaller up and down arrows with a full shift key similar to my Dell XPS 15. Moving on to the trackpad, the Gigabyte Aero 15 comes with fantastic hardware, but unfortunately it is using Elon drivers. This isn't a big deal though. You can easily upgrade these to Windows Precision drivers after you purchase the laptop and you can quickly Google that and find out how to do that. Lastly, for the user experience section, the Gigabyte Aero 15 comes with 
a 94 watt hour battery. This gives you roughly eight hours of battery life while web browsing and about five hours while conducting creative intensive tasks like video editing or design work. So if you plan on being out for an extended amount of time, I would recommend keeping that charger with you just in case. Okay, now for the important part, let's dive into the performance section. This laptop comes with the Intel 9750H processor, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Max-Q, 16 gigs of RAM, DDR4 at 2,667 MHz, and 512 gigs of solid-state hard drive that is an NVMe PCIe M.2 SSD. Since Photoshop is one of the most labor-intensive programs for designers and photographers, I ran this laptop through Puget's Photoshop benchmark tests for extensive benchmark testing. The Aero 15 received a 601 Puget score, which is a pretty solid benchmark for this laptop in Photoshop. As you're reviewing the test, I want to point out one main test, how long it takes to open 100 raw images in camera raw. This can be a workflow bottleneck for some laptops, and as you see in the test, the Aero 15 opens them up in just 5.5 seconds, which is an excellent benchmark. So this laptop handles tasks for photographers very well. All right, next we're going to look at video editing benchmarks and then finish off with After Effects. I'm going to take a nine minute 4K clip loaded into Premiere Pro and review the playback, check the render speed, and then export it out of 4K and 1080p. This laptop can render 7,240 frames in three minutes and 40 seconds. It can play back full quality in the timeline of Premiere Pro very smoothly. You can export the nine minute 4K clip to full quality 4K settings in six minutes and 57 seconds. You can export the nine minute 4K clip to 1080p in two minutes and 33 seconds. While using this laptop, I found it used no fan while at idle and only kicked on lightly and sporadically when browsing the web, but it almost, but it was almost unnoticeable at around while using this laptop, I found that it used no fan while at idle and only kicked on lightly and sporadically when browsing the web, but it was almost unnoticeable at around 30 decibels. Occasionally, I heard the fans kick on while working in the Adobe Creative Suite and had a noise bump up to about 41 decibels. The highest I saw was 55 decibels during the full 4K export out of Premiere Pro. And like I said, you can use quiet mode. So if you find the fans are kicking on uh, while you're working in Photoshop or Illustrator or InDesign, you can use quiet mode and that should tune back those fans. Although I'm not a motion designer, I'm trying to incorporate more tests uh, for motion designers in order for them to help with their buying decisions. So as you see on the screen right now, I ran some after Effects tests using Puget's After Effects benchmarks. And if you want to run these tests on your own system to see how they compare to the Gigabyte Aero 15, you can head out into the description below and check out the test I use. The Gigabyte Aero 15 also has NVIDIA's Studio Drivers, which optimizes the GPU for content creation. Also, this laptop is equipped with Microsoft Azure AI, so users don't have to manually switch between different power modes before gaming or content creation, which is why I think this is the best gaming laptop for video editors. Overall, I really enjoyed this laptop. The build quality, the smoothness of the hinge, the color accuracy, the performance, the venting so it can keep itself cool. It really is a top-notch laptop. And if you're somebody who likes to game as well, it is the perfect laptop to do on video editing and gaming. Again, if you're curious about the exact pricing of this model, you can head down into the description below and use that link. And if you do use it, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. I always appreciate when you all use those links because it keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. If you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. I'm Benji Kaiser. I'll see you guys here on the next episode.